Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about two very interesting and exciting topics for iOS and the iPhone. Number one, side loading. A lot of you guys continue to ask, when will Apple be adding side loading to the iPhone? I also want to talk about some more even exciting news in regards to iOS 18. Yes, iOS 18 could be one of the biggest updates in years for the iPhone, so I wanted to share the details with you guys. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. So first things first, what is side loading and how does this change iPhone and iPad? for you well keep in mind side loading gives you the ability to install apps from anywhere on the internet or from a third-party app store so it doesn't have to be the app store right now iPhone and iPad users are only capable of installing apps directly from the app store for the end user this is the only way to do it yes we have enterprise certificates but aside from that this is the main way where iPhone users and iPad users install their apps on their iPhones and their iPads well side loading opens up the operating system to allow third-party apps to be installed from anywhere on the internet just like we can on a Mac on a PC on an Android device and this is something that Apple is set to be enabling here within the next couple of months on the iPhone now there's a few things to keep in mind when Apple talks about side loading number one Apple does not like side loading so if they do make this feature available they will only make it available in regions where it is required so the EU by March of 2024 will most likely see this feature enabled it could be a location based feature or a region based service right where if you live in an area where it is required you see side loading on your iPhone but if you don't then Apple is enforced to enable this on your iPhone and they won't Apple has gone on record to say side loading is a cyber criminal's best friend and I understand where Apple is coming from but yet we've been doing this on the Mac for years and the Mac users have been fined Apple can put safeguards in place warnings in place and let users know hey if you install this app it's up to you your personal and privacy could be compromised just keep that in mind just like they do on the Mac right and we've seen this for years on the Mac so I don't see why Apple wouldn't enable side loading worldwide but I think they're going to make it a region-based service now when will Apple enable side loading for the iPhone. Well, it looks like Apple will most likely enable this feature with future iOS 17 updates. So 17.3 or 17.4 come January, February, or March of 2024. We'll see beta testing, of course, before the official release. And again, don't keep your hopes up because this could only be for the EU as Apple is only required to comply with the EU. I would be highly surprised if Apple enables this worldwide. So now let's go ahead and talk about iOS 18. There's a lot to talk about here as some of the latest reports from Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and I quote, Apple has internally referred to iOS 18 as being ambitious and compelling. The goal is that iOS 18 will ship with major new features and designs alongside significant improvements to performance, security, and AI push plans as well. So we have to break this down into several categories. The first thing I wanna talk about, major new features and designs. Designs meaning hopefully we'll see a redesign of the home screen, hopefully we'll see a redesign of the widgets, maybe see a redesign of the lock screen or improvements to the lock screen. Take a look at this iPhone here. So imagine Apple refreshing their icons, maybe giving them a Mac OS style look as you can see right here. Let me know what you think about something like this. Could Apple perhaps be planning a theme store, maybe the ability to change the icons to whatever it is that you want, not be stuck with the stock icons on your iPhone this could be something that could be cool and a lot of developers could take advantage and designers to creating their own icon pack where you can change the look of iOS maybe even new widgets as you can see right here I have this platter here with some of the settings preloaded right there you have also complications and different things like that of course this iPhone is jailbroken so hopefully Apple will continue to expand within iOS will be able to customize iOS or even give it a refresh to the home screen add new widgets and elements that's what I'm taking away here. Now, major new features can also mean a bunch of things we can expect like for years here, but we're not going to do that. Major new features and design changes are coming with iOS 18, which could mark the biggest redesign and change in iOS since iOS 6 to iOS 7. Remember that big change? Hopefully, that's what this means. Now, Apple is also working on significant improvements to performance and security, which is a great thing. Apple is going to take their time for better performance and security on the iOS iPhone when it comes to iOS 18 so the big push next year will be software so I'm super excited about this as well and of course then we have AI Apple is planning for a big push on AI with iOS 18 according to various sources Apple needs to catch up with Google
Microsoft, ChatGPT, and other competitors out there sort of caught Apple by surprise. Now, we already have some AI within iOS. So if we go into settings, we go under accessibilities, and we scroll down, we have personal voice. Now, personal voice uses AI on your iPhone to create a voice very similar to your voice in case you're at risk of losing your voice. You can continue to communicate in your own voice tone with someone else. This is directly using AI on the iPhone, but Apple has bigger plans. They're spending a billion plus dollars a year in AI and iOS 18 could mark the biggest AI leap for Siri, maybe. Maybe we'll see AI integrated into suggestions within the operating system. Maybe messages for quick reply and quick suggestions, keyboard suggestions, autocorrect, things like that. Apple Music, playlist suggestion, playlist creation. A lot of AI could be used within iOS to create a major update for AI within iOS. And of course, Siri being the number one thing that I would love to see at AI. Maybe we'll see a major new leap in advancement for Siri next year with iOS 18. Plans for Siri to get AI are also in the works, so I'm excited about that. But keep in mind, guys, a lot of this stuff could change by the time iOS 18 is officially released or even see the first beta, so just keep that in mind. But we did not see any kind of information like this early on for iOS 16 or iOS 17, which makes me very excited for iOS 18 to see some of this information already in the wild in regards to iOS 18 so many months ahead of time, which could mean that iOS 18 could be one of the biggest updates in years coming to the iPhone, and I can't wait to see what Apple has in store. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.